An 8-5 and five season would be seen as a success for many teams, but in Oxford, it could be seen as a down year. The Chargers are prepared to bounce back bigger and better in 2017, with new challenges ahead of them in the upcoming season. Oxford is stop number 55 in the 60 schools in 60 days marathon. WCBI 60 Schools in 60 Days is brought to you by Toyota, Let's Go Places, and Emerson Animal Hospital, where your pets are family in West Point. 2016 marked the first season without Jack Abraham and DK Metcalf striking fear into the hearts of opponents. The new look Chargers locked in a fifth straight playoff appearance, but couldn't get past the second round. Second year head coach Chris Cutcliffe says a lot of good was learned through the ups and downs. We replaced a, a really great senior class, the best senior class we've ever had, um, probably come through Oxford High School. Um, you know, so we've, we had a lot of guys playing for the first time. Um, you know, but we did a lot of great things. We had um, some good moments. You know, we lost some tough games. Um, you know, we uh, of course didn't end the way we wanted to. West Point was just an outstanding football team, and um, you know, so it didn't end how we wanted it to. But a lot of positives to build on, and hopefully we can build on that this year. We had a lot of close games that we lost, so that'll help us. Like people returning, that'll help us learn. We know how to play hard through that, and work through losses and tough, tough stuff like that. So that'll help. And then uh, of course we just know. Oxford, part of Oxford's winning, so you just w want to win when you come here. Oxford returns a ton of talent offensively, including starting quarterback John Reese McClure, leading rusher Haram Wadlington, and top wide out Jaquan Webb. I feel like we got people here in position. For four plays straight, somebody going to make a play to get us a first down. So the fireworks on offense are to be expected in Oxford, but this year's team could be led by an experienced and hard-hitting defense. Ten seniors return on that side of the ball to lead the Chargers in pursuit of its elusive first state championship. You know what you got. You know how they work. So that's always good. You know what we have from last year. We also got some young guys coming up that will help us out too. But ten, ten seniors, or a good amount of seniors, that always helps. The playmakers will need to step up in 2017 as the Chargers make the leap from Class 5A to 6A. This is something... Um, We've seen coming for, for years, and we've tried to schedule a lot of 6A opponents in a non-region schedule. Our kids have played against uh, 6A teams, you know, really their whole lives. So, you know, hopefully that experience against those teams will pay off, and, um, you know, I think our guys are ready for it. It's going to be the same thing every week. We know we're going to Starkville. You know what they're about. I feel like West Point, like a 6A team, you know what they're about. You know they're going to hit you hard in the mouth, going to try to intimidate you. So they're just every week now. It ain't no weeks off. The Chargers will open up the season on the road against Vicksburg before traveling to Starkville for the Little Egg Bowl in week two. In Oxford, Tom Ebel, WCBI Sports. 60 Schools in 60 Days with Oxford High School was brought to you by Van Atkins Jewelers in New Albany and on the square in Oxford.